The first scheduled flight in and out of Wick Airport has taken off for the first time since September 2019. Twice daily links between Aberdeen and Caithness were reinstated after locals felt they were cut off from the rest of the country. Kirsten Tate was on the flight. The first scheduled flight to arrive and depart Wick Jonagrolt Airport since September 2019. Low passenger numbers as a result of high ticket pricing meant routes to both Aberdeen and Edinburgh were axed, leading to fears over the future of the terminal. But following community outcry, flights have been reinstated for connectivity to the rest of Scotland, this time with a reduced cost. Flights returning from Aberdeen to Wick is great news for business travellers and for tourism in Cape Ness. But it's also a major transport link for people from the area to travel further afield or for returning locals like me. It's such a rural area and the connection, connectivity required really for business and leisure in this area is very difficult to go by car or train to get into Aberdeen or other areas. So it's a really important connection uh, to link into Aberdeen so you can do day business from here now uh, or you can link on the many domestic and international flights. So it's, it's important. People don't realise how much business there is in Caithness. Uh, in relative terms, there is twice as much engineering business in Caithness as there is in either Glasgow, Birmingham or Manchester. Those are businesses that need to travel. It means that we'll be able to get inward investment in, we'll be able to get tourism, um, people doing the North Coast 500, why not start here instead of Inverness? It will be great for hospitality because obviously that's been decimated through Covid um, and we're looking for that to recover. Andrew Mackay has three hotel restaurants across Caithness and has faced continuous setbacks since flights were halted. Caithness is um, unique, I suppose. It's like an island without the island status, so we are really quite cut off and not having the airport was a big drawback for that. But over the pandemic, it's been really tough in tourism. Hopefully things like this, opening up the economy, opening up the area is a real benefit. But there are still calls for more to be done. So do you think there's enough transport links to and from Caithness? Definitely no, not. No, I agree. No, definitely not. Wholeheartedly. Yeah. You cannot depend on the trains, the planes or a bus. That's right, exactly. Edinburgh is a necessity, far more important for the international airport. And um, yeah, that's sadly missed. Living in the top of Scotland is quite like a long distance to go um, if you're like travelling like to say London or something so it definitely opened up for that. Putting Caithness back on the map, it's hoped as the airport is reinstated the county will welcome visitors on a global scale, showing off its true potential. And the airline behind the flights say it could be the first step forward in opening up new routes to more destinations across the country. Kirsten Tate, STV News.